MLB The Show 24 is officially here, so today I'll be hitting a home run with the best player on all 30 MLB teams. Getting us started with the Baltimore Orioles is Adley Rutschman at a 91 overall. And for this video, we are going to be hitting these home runs on beginner difficulty. I know, look at me. Beginner difficulty. It's okay. I promise you will be all right. But the reason why we're hitting them on beginner difficulty is because we're not looking for a challenge today. We're looking to see all the new no doubt animations, all the home runs with the best player on every single team. And of course, a perfect, perfect first one of the year is not a home run. This time it is gone. I don't know. That seems like a no doubt animation from previous MLB The Show games. Regardless, though, Adley Rutschman just crushed that one for 433 as a 91 overall. For the Boston Red Sox, it is third baseman, 87 overall, Rafael Devers. Welcome to Fenway Park. Devers is going to crush one. Not even close to the pesky pole in right field because he just decided to send it out of the stadium of Fenway Park pretty much. Rafael Devers, a perfect, perfect no doubt animation for 439 feet. The New York Yankees, it is 99 overall Aaron Judge. I want to hear in the comments down below though, what are you the most excited about about the new game, about MLB The Show 24, as we have Aaron Judge of my New York Yankees. And I'm looking at the furthest home run of the video right now with Aaron Judge because I want someone to track it in the comments not a no doubt animation for judge but that one should get out and that's not going to hold up as the longest home run of the video but it did go 395 and let's check out the replay system let's see if they change anything with the replays not really but i didn't really expect them to but that only goes 395 for judge or the tampa bay rays its first baseman 88 overall yandy diaz all right yandy diaz for the tampa bay rays perfect perfect but doesn't have enough to get over the wall it actually did not get over. He only has 52 power, so even a perfect perfect might not get out. All right, third time's the charm, Diaz. They say third time's the charm. And oh, that was a nice bat flip by Yandy Diaz. Now that's a bat flip. I was waiting for something new in this game with the home run animations. That was a little something. And even jogging around the bases looks a little bit different. Cover boy of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is a 90 overall and the highest overall player on the Blue Jays. Vlad's well, going to have that opportunity to set the record for the longest home run in this video. Let's see how far he hits it. Oh my goodness, that might hit the hotel room. If you have your hotel room open here at the Rogers Center, you are going to get hit with a baseball because Vlad just sent that one, let's see, 463 feet. 463, keep that in your minds right now. Let's see if anybody can beat Vladimir Guerrero Jr. That one almost ended up in the hotel. For the White Sox, we have Luis Robert Jr. Okay, here's the only question with Luis Robert. Is it Robert or Robert? I swear, every single time I mention his name in a video, 50% of the people say it's Robert, 50% of the people say it's Robert. So you let me know in the comments. We're going to make one final decision on this, but there's no doubt he's a great player. And did he get that one? Opposite field. Not the prettiest home run of the video, but he did get it to go. And that's going to be a home run. Only 364 feet, but regardless, it's gone. One of the most underrated players every single year, 90 overall Jose Ramirez of the Guardians. I got to say, I think Jose Ramirez is actually a 90 overall every single year. Never higher, never lower. He's never a 95. He's never an 85. He's never an 88. He's never a 92, never a 91, never an 89. I feel like he's always a 90, at least in regular teams. Diamond Dynasty could be a different story. And that one is going to be a no-doubt animation, even though I missed the baseball. And that one's going to go really far for not a great PCI swing. That one went 442 for still, in my opinion, the most underrated player in the league, even though a lot of people know he's good if you're a baseball fan. Only a 79 overall is the highest player on the Tigers, and it's Kerry Carpenter. I'll be the first to admit that I do not follow the Tigers, and I do not really know how good Kerry Carpenter is, but he is a 79 overall for the Tigers. That is crazy when they have Javier Baez on the roster and they gave him all that money a long time ago. But look at Carpenter go. Left center field. See you later. Will we have a bounce back for the Tigers this year? I would love to see it. The Royals have a 90 overall club member in this game and it's 92 overall Bobby Witt Jr. Will we see Bobby Witt Jr. take another step forward? Two really good seasons to start his career. He's in the 90 overall club in this game. He might be the fastest player in the game. Either him, Ellie De La Cruz, or Trey Turner. Probably all have 99 speed, but he has a case. But we'll see. He could take even another step forward. By the end of the year, it could be 95 plus overall, possibly. And it could be thanks to that home run we just hit with him. Did that one get out? Yes, it did. 75 power against lefties. 
for Bobby Witt Jr. He doesn't need that 99 speed right now to jog around the bases. For the Minnesota Twins, 86 overall, Byron Buxton. So feel free also to debate any team's highest overall player in the comments down below. Do you think it should have been Royce Lewis or Buxton? And Buxton, Michael's second deck here is that one's a line drive home run, even though it went all the way up to the second deck as it goes 422 at 115. It was hit so hard. That's why it looked like a line drive, but honestly, it had good elevation too. Jordan Alvarez, one of the best hitters, if not the best hitter in the MLB today as a 96 overall for the Astros. I have short-term memory. I feel like Alvarez can definitely beat Vlad's distance, but I don't even remember what it was. I think it was like 460 something. But at the moment, I don't even know it off the top of my head. Let's see. Let's see if Alvarez crushes one over 460. I didn't get it the best swing on it, but I still think he might have beat it. With 99 power, he still might have beat Vlad's score. Oh, that only went 435. I'm a little disappointed, actually. Mike Trout, still a 99 overall in MLB The Show 24 for the Angels. And if you're enjoying the video, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. Mike Trout, now all alone on the Angels. Otani is gone. We will get to the Dodgers in a little bit. But Trout has a 99 overall again in another MLB The Show. He's got a case for furthest home run. That one was crushed. 462. I think we might have tied Vlad. I can't remember, though. For the A's, it's only a 78 overall, and it is Brent Rooker. All right, the most beautiful stadium in the MLB, the Oakland Coliseum, and Brent Rooker sending that one to the seats that are covered at the top of the stadium. Best stadium in the league. Absolutely stunning. And Brent Rooker just went 463. J-Rod, Julio Rodriguez, a 93 overall for the Seattle Mariners. Julio, let's get it out of here. There it is. That's another case for furthest home run. Julio Rodriguez. Left center field. Oh, I thought it was going second deck. Let's see. He's got into the 460, 465. I think he's got the furthest one. World Series MVP, two-time World Series MVP, is a 98 overall, the highest overall player on the Texas Rangers, Corey Seager. Corey Seager's got 99 power right, two-time World Series MVP, so he can beat that score, 465 from Julio Rodriguez. Oh, how is that not a perfect perfect? I don't think it's going to go higher than 465 without being a perfect perfect. It's definitely a long home run, no doubt about it. It went 429, though. Last year's National League MVP is Ronald Acuna Jr. as a 99 overall. Last year's National League MVP. Ronald Acuna Jr. Oh, my God. Weird animation, but no doubt that one's gone. Perfect, perfect line drive homer. For Acuna, and it goes 423. We have a two-way tie for the Marlins between Jake Berger and Jazz Chisholm as an 83 overall, but because Jazz was on the cover last year, let's go with him. Jazz, no longer the cover athlete. It's Vladimir Guerrero Jr.'s time for the year, but we'll send him off here in MLB The Show 24. Last year's cover athlete just blasted one second. Might have left the stadium. And that one's 479 for Jazz, no doubt furthest of the video. The New York Mets have 92 overall Francisco Lindor, and they're really still using the same picture of Lindor from previous years. Lindor at City Field, might hit the scoreboard in center field, send that one to the Shake Shack. And Lindor, that's a crushed home run. I don't think you're being Jazz a score. 489, never mind. And it's the new game. There's no doubt we're taking a look at that replay from Lindor, who went 489 feet. I need the stats on that. 115.7 miles per hour. It actually might be at Shake Shack. Trey Turner, a 92 overall for the Philadelphia Phillies. If somebody beats Lindor's score at this point, I'd be shocked. Unless Trey Turner is going to hit the Liberty Bell. Okay, it's not the Liberty Bell. But that one's crushed too. What's with the National League crushing homers? That's definitely not 489 though. But it did go 451. The Washington Nationals have an 83 overall, and that's their right fielder, Lane Thomas. Final National League East team. And it's the Washington Nationals and Lane Thomas, so let's send it out. I mean, that's a line drive homer, but it definitely has enough. Ball is hit so hard, that one just gracefully over the wall. It goes 398 to one of the shorter home runs of the video. We have a two-way tie for the Chicago Cubs between Dansby Swanson and Cody Bellinger. Let's go with bounce back belly. Very happy to see the Bellinger bounce back last season. Let's see if he can continue it this season. And Bellinger 
crushed at Wrigley off of Spencer Strider, one of the highest rated pitchers in the game. Not that we're playing on a high difficulty, but he goes 4-14. The Cincinnati Reds have Matt McClain, their second baseman. So we got Matt McClain for the Reds, and I am waiting. I am hoping that somebody can beat Lindor score. I don't think that's going to go over 489. Definitely not. Maybe not even over 400. 398 for McLean. So we're starting to get shorter with these home runs. The Milwaukee Brewers, it's their catcher, William Contreras, as an 86 overall. Very nice stadium. American Family Field. Not as nice as the Oakland Coliseum, but a very nice stadium, too. That one crushed by Contreras. That maybe can contest Lindor's four. No, not even close. 434. I thought it was it way further. Another year of Brian Reynolds as the best player of the Pittsburgh Pirates at an 83 overall. Brian Reynolds, I use him every year in Diamond Dynasty. Switch handed bat. Love his swing. And always the best player on the Pirates in this game. And they play at the second most beautiful stadium in the MLB. Gotta visit PNC Park right behind the Oakland Coliseum. And Reynolds, that's going to be a line drive. That's not going to be an inside the park home run, though. Second time's a charm for Reynolds here, though. Oh, yeah. There it is. Not the perfect perfect that goes. Instead, it's the just early swing. Gotta love it. And it'll be the show logic. Former MVP, Paul Goldschmidt, is a 91 overall for the St. Louis Cardinals. At a 91 overall, former NL MVP, Goldschmidt, deservingly so, a 91 overall. And that one is landing in the grass in center field. Absolutely blasted. Maybe going to hit the steakhouse in left center field. This is a far home run. 479 for Goldie. Orban Carroll fresh off that World Series runner-up last year. A 91 overall for the Diamondbacks. What will the Diamondbacks do this year? Will they see a World Series slump after being runner-ups last year? It's very difficult to make it back to the World Series. And Corbin Carroll, though, nice swing. That one's going to get out. But for them to make the World Series again in that NL West stacked division, that's going to be really, really tough. Nolan Jones, the only Rockies player in the 80s, and he's an 88 overall. Nolan Jones going to get the Coors Field power bonus here. Could hit it over the fence for over 489. That would be awesome to see. That one is crushed. Here's the chance. Oh my goodness, he might have beat... He has to have beaten 489. Then at the top of the third deck, 495 for Nolan Jones. What'd I say? And take your pick on this Dodgers team because you have Otani, 99 overall, and you have Mookie Betts, 99 overall. But obviously, we're going with the new Dodgers show, hey, Otani. Otani in a Dodgers uniform. Give him the World Series trophy right now. Obviously, the favorites to win it. And Otani's first home run as a Dodger at Dodgers... Stadium. This is going to be an unreal season if you're a Dodgers fan. For the Padres, it is 92 overall. Fernando Tatis Jr. And look at those defense stats for Tatis. I could have swore I saw new No Doubt animations in MLB The Show 24, and we really haven't seen any of them. And for somebody who's going to have it, it's going to be Tatis. But we've seen this bat flip before. Maybe like three or four years in a row. But oh my goodness, that's out of the stadium. Tatis 452 though. No one's going to beat that 495 from Nolan Jones. But Tatis going 452. It's a nice shot too. And we will end it off with the Giants and Wilmer Flores. And for the final home run for the final MLB team. It'll be Wilmer Flores here at Oracle Park. And Wilmer, see you later. A brand new year of MLB The Show Baseball. MLB The Show 24. And Wilmer Flores just went... 454. That's gonna do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And make sure to go check out my other channels that are in the description down below. And I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Peace.